Hey everybody, it's Rock the World. Sorry about the noise behind me. It's it's raining really hard where I am. But I just wanted to share with you guys probably one of the coolest things that I've ever found for Pokemon Go. Um, and that is, other than using Omelette, which is what I use to record now. That's why you see the live chat at the top up there. I also use uh, the Poke Detector. Now, the Poke Detector is basically it does what it says it does it detects pokemon and you're probably thinking well why is that useful when you have the radar down here and you can just walk around and find them yourself with the app open well the thing is is that the pokey detector works with the app closed see with me um and with everyone else that i've seen use this app it eats away at your battery so uh a quick way to fix that is to not have the app open while you're hunting for pokemon and uh, before this, I mean, there, there's other ways. There, there's other ways to track Pokemon without the app being open. But before Poke Detector, it wasn't really that easy, I guess you could say. I just have this little notification up at the top. And uh, if it finds anything, it lets me know. And it lets me know exactly what it is. It doesn't just say Pokemon are nearby because Pokemon are always nearby. So, um, and it, oh, there's a little bell sprout now. So anyway, um... I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys probably one of the coolest things that I've found uh, for Pokemon Go. And um, if you guys have any other tips or tricks that you'd like to share, uh, oh, see, so just got a notification now Pidgey, Weedle, and Nidoran. So, um, and I guess I didn't track the spell sprout. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's, it's pretty good. So if you guys have any other tips, tricks, or comments or anything, just feel free to uh, put it in the comments and like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.